In a nearly two hour long preliminary hearing, a judge ruled there is enough evidence against Jesse Vang to move his case forward toward a trial in that child neglect case. Vang is a caretaker who reported three year old Elijah Vu missing back on February 20th from his apartment in Two Rivers. The 39 year old faces one count of chronic child neglect. He's the boyfriend of Elijah's mother, Katrina Bauer, who's also facing charges of child neglect. Samantha Cavalli was inside the courtroom today and has this first alert update. For the first time since his arrest, Jesse Vang appeared in person Thursday for his preliminary hearing in Manitowoc County. A judge finding his case would be bound over for trial. Court documents say he went to take a nap at 8 a.m. and brought Elijah into the bedroom with him. And when he woke up, he couldn't find the boy and called 911. Detective Lieutenant Jacob Glazer with the Two Rivers Police Department testified he was one of the first officers on scene after the initial call was made. During interviews with Vang, Glazer said Bauer left Elijah with him for a week to teach her son to, quote, be a man. He says Vang talked about Elijah's timeouts, where he would stand for two to three hours as a form of punishment for bad behavior. Glazer testified about the night of February 17th, where Vang left Elijah home alone as he and Katrina went to a local bar. Police say Bauer claimed she was not in the area at that time. Cell phone data and surveillance video from a gas station showed otherwise. And when that video was reviewed with her um, inside this orb was a child with her. And when the video was reviewed uh, when she was sitting in a vehicle in the parking lot was a child observed with her. The district attorney moving into evidence two pictures of Elijah that were taken just days apart. Glazer describing one photo as a picture of Elijah with a black blindfold on him, sleeping in Vang's bed with what looks to be bruising on his cheek, neck and arm taken by Bauer on February 14th. The judge decided to move forward with the case, citing text messages exchanged between Vang and Bauer on February 18th. In particular, the message where Vang tells Bauer, quote, he did fear me, but he did not respect me. Now I am making him respect me, end quote. That tells me that uh, uh, the reasonable inference there is that Mr. Vang is carrying out actions that are designed to instill fear in the child. Uh, he acknowledges as much. Vang's arraignment is scheduled for April 16th at 11.15 a.m. His co-defendant, Katrina Bauer, who is also Elijah's mother, will be back in court later this month on similar charges. Reporting in Manitowoc, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News. And Elijah is still missing.